being completely lost in this whole Caitlin Clark versus the Sky thing. Right. Because I'm sitting there watching that game Saturday. First of all, here's my first thought. Wow. And the most important thing. What a segue. Yes. I'm sitting there on a Saturday watching a WNBA game in June. Have I ever done that in my life? The whole country was. No. Now, also fair point. Had it not been pouring buckets of water for nine straight hours, would I have been sitting there? Watching that game? No, I would not have been watching that game. Maybe. All due Maybe respect. I would have, I would have saw, saw the highlights later. You still had seven million options of what you could have watched on your TV, yes. and you chose the sky. And I'm sitting there watching that as it's happening. Okay, now, so I think that's the first key point of that whole discussion, is that so many people are watching and caring about this. My second reaction was, because I don't watch the WNBA that much, is the WNBA always the 1990s NBA? Like, is this normal? Yeah, it's kind of, but, but it's fun. They should lean into it more. It's fun. I got no problem with it. Was that shot uh, from Kennedy Carter? Is her name? Kennedy? Ken- That's right. Kennedy, yep. Kennedy Carter. Carter. I'm, I'm not pretending to be a WNBA expert. You're, you're, mm-hmm. You I'm nailed not. it. Kennedy Carter. Yep. Uh, was that? Did that cross the line? Hell yeah, it did. That was a dirty play. It was completely unnecessary. Correct. It should have been a flagrant foul. Uh, did I like that she had nothing to say about it after the game? Not particularly. You can't Do I care that much about it? Not really. But you can't go on Twitter two hours later or whenever it was and then tweet about it after you refuse to talk about it in a press conference. That's a bad look. Weak. And by the way, Teresa Witherspoon came out with a statement like right before our show started, like kind of clearing the air. Because he also, if you're... What they, did she say? Because I was not happy with that. She said that those actions aren't what they want to do. Her actions are not what we want to do either. Teresa Witherspoon, I, Hall of Famer, whatever, great coach, I suppose. I don't really know. Seems certainly had a great career. When she, when they're asking Kennedy Carter at the podium about it, yeah, I don't want to talk about Kate and Clark. And then there's another question, another question, and then the head coach steps in. That's enough. Yeah, I didn't like that either. No, 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 no. The, she can handle herself. Yeah. You're not the PR person. You're the head coach of the team. You know, yeah, but she's allowed to as the head coach of the team. Well, she's allowed enough. to, but the reporter also I could mean, have ignored what she said and kept asking more I, questions. I, sure. I, not, that, not that I'm saying that that reporter should right. have. That, that's I, it's just, it was a weird interaction all around. I, I, I didn't I Well, didn't and, like a, and Angel Reese got fined for not and going yeah. to the press conference, too. So that was my whole thing was like in regards to I know this How do we get a, here? WNBA show. But, yeah. No, I mean, to me – I think the whole thing is, I think they should lean into all of it. The rivalry, the physicality, the chippiness towards each other. Screw it. Like, it, it, it build, to me, it builds more intrigue. But, like, well, you know, and that the, was the segue what, I was, that's what I was going for here. It was like, yes, Caitlin Clark was talking shit too. That was cool. And then it ended with a flagrant foul. That's fine. That's like every game Draymond Green plays in all the time. Right. Okay, like, it doesn't have to be this big deal. Like, okay, should have been a flagrant foul. Honestly, you could have made a case that she should have been ejected. I don't, don't necessarily know that it rose to that level. But, like, and then there could have been a cool press conference where they both talk about it, and then everyone can move on. Like, I don't understand why this has become such a weird, like, polarizing thing way beyond just, like, let's enjoy the fact that the WNBA is interesting, that all these figures involved in it are making entertainment – which is what this all is, right. with this is this discussion included. What it's all what we're doing here, and if someone wants to not make a comment and then get or not show up and then get fined, like it's all part of it. But like I know I can't wait for the next time these two teams play. I'm gonna be watching that June 16th. Be- I think better rivalry: Indiana Fever, Chicago Sky, Bears, Packers. What's I mean? And then there's that. How close is the fever in the sky to the Bears and the Packers? Fever sucks. <laughs> fever sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Will Our Chica- guy Joe won't be happy with you. Will Chicago Sorry, so. embrace the badass sky? The bad girl sky. They should be talking about that on the Sky Pod. Bad boys, bad girl sky. Bad girls, Man, bad the girls. Pistons. What the you pi- going to do? The pistons, the pistons leaned into it. Where are the Pistons? Okay. Can Kennedy I, Carter's Bill Lambeer. Well, I, maybe. Angel Reese is Rick Mahorn. Dennis Rodman. Look, I just I don't want this guy to have this in this reputation though for being like the dirty team. In the yeah, league. but somebody but, said in the chat earlier, oh, this WNBA is like '90s NBA. <laughs> that, that'd probably be a good place to be. The '90s NBA saying. was great. 
So have the rivalries, have the physicality, let's, talk shit. I don't care. Let's go. All the I way, think it's great. Let's it's great go, TV. Let's go all the way back to the eighties. Let's let's get Robert Parrish literally nearly killing Bill Ambeer. That was amazing. That probably nobody gets that reference right. on the show because you know I'm. I'm gonna from the era. <laughs> 